Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Now, I hope you enjoy this, but I am going to introduce die-cast collectibles to you all. And I just received in the mail the D'Agostini Collectibles, the American Cars Collection. Now, I'm super excited to receive this because I definitely do collect die-casts. Here's just a small example of what I own. Now, let's go to the bench and I'll show you the rest. And this is very cool here. It shows the, the difference between 164th and 143rd. I think that's fantastic. And by the way, head over to Diagostini Collectibles and subscribe to this today. Start your collection today. Use promo code American Cars, and I put a link in the description below and also above right here on the left. So these are fantastic. I like how they come in cases and they'll display very nice in my uh, my hobby room. So let's get started and I'll show you everything that's in pack one. I'm super excited to receive my first pack of the uh, American Cars collection from D'Agostini. Now this is 143rd scale and uh, initially they did say I would receive two of the cars with the pack. And if you don't know anything about D'Agostini, they uh, uh, have been around since 1959 and have been uh, committed to creating the world's most remarkable scale model kits. For example, most recently they did come out with a very large Millennium Falcon, the X-Wing, and the half-scale R2-D2. Those are fantastic kits and you probably have seen them already. Um, they worked with premium brands including Lamborghini, Harley-Davidson, and Koyosho. And they have over 100,000 customers worldwide. You can also start your collection by heading over to Diagostini, and I put a link in the description below. Give them promo card American Cars, all one word, and click on the link that I put down below, or you can click on the link that's above. Here's the two cars that were included with Pack 1, the 1967 Ford Mustang Shelby Cobra GT500 and the 1972 Dodge Charger. Let's look at the collection guide. Here's the collection guide. And as I open it up, you can see here all the cars are in here are going to be 143rd scale. And uh, it's, it's a superb collection, bringing together the most powerful cars in the American automotive history. And so, for example, beautiful shot here of the Dodge Charger 1972 and the 1963 uh, Shelby GT500. Moving on with that, it is a unique collection in that uh, the replica models faithful to the original design made from metal and injection molded plastic, precision made with realistic detail, and of course, hand painted. So some of the details are uh, the nice striping, the nice paint job, the badging on the car itself, uh, spoiler, license plates, headlights, taillights, tight patterns on the grill. And as I fold this out, it gives you some examples of some of the cars that are going to be offered here in the future. Very cool there. OK, 
Can you spot the Buick Riviera? Mm -hmm. Moving on. The Grand Torino. What was the Grand Torino? What uh, TV show was the Grand Torino most famous for? And we'll go ahead and turn it over here. Of course, they uh, highlight the magazine you'll receive. Uh, talks about the model itself and how all the cars were made in America. News about the car and the branding, such as the Carroll Shelby, uh, his dealings with uh, Ford, Ford Motor Company, and then uh, some of the exclusives that you can receive when you subscribe to this. Let's look at the magazines. So with Magazine 1, we also get the car, of course, and we'll look at the car here just real quick. It is in a protective uh, plastic wrap, and I'll go ahead and remove that the next time we look at this car. But the magazine goes, just real quick, we'll get into this. They talk about the Shelby GT500, and they give us a basic history about the car and its beginnings. And then... Uh, you know how why the Shelby came about with Carroll Shelby and then they give us a technical specifications about the car that's very cool to have and, and note very high quality photo photography in here I'm very impressed with that I mean just having all the article is is worth the subscription in itself very nice there and of course, uh, American Graffiti, the movie, is highlighted here with some of the cars that were used in that. Mel's Drive In, very famous uh, drive in. George Lucas, of course, was created the movie here. That's very cool there. And then, of course, they bring in a little bit about our, our veterans and uh, how veterans played a, uh, an important role with hot rods and American muscle, these uh, American cars. And then uh, number five, county end, end of the road, huh? Pretty cool there. The road just ends right there. So let's look at the car. And there's the car as it's displayed in its display case with a very cool background. It looks like uh, the inner city somewhere. But it also has the graphics on the bottom, so it makes for a very nice display. Of course, the cover is there, so it will keep all the dust off your collect collectible. And I'm just seeing all kinds of details here on the wheels and the, the hub caps, the caps on the center caps on the wheels themselves, the graphics for the Cobra. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, give me a second, and uh, I will take this out, and we'll get a closer look at it. And the back side of the case has some specific information about the car, as you can see there. And you can see it was it sold for $4,195. Wow. You know, I wish we could buy a car for that right now. And here's a close-up of the car without the case. Very nice graphics there, as you can see. Very cool there. Front end even has the uh, the fog lights and the high beam lights, racing lights there. Look at the striping. Look at the hood. Has that very strong hood of the Mustang. Here's the other side of the car. And the back end, right? Fast back. The details on the license plate. That's very cool. Let's get a close up of the wheels. see there very nice graphics on the center cap uh, tampo graphics with the markings on the tires 
and the GT500 striping along with the Cobra symbol. Very cool there. Front end of the car, detail, the grill work, Cobra symbol, lights, very nice there. The rear left quarter with the scoops, very nice. And of course, the back end of the car, Cobra style taillights, Cobra symbol, spoiler, dual exhaust. Details of the windshield wipers, the glass, the rear view mirror, door handle, and it has a black interior, steering wheel. And there you have it. That was a detailed review of this car. I'm super excited to show that to you. I think it's a fantastic uh, miniature in 143rd scale. And that's definitely a plus too because uh, I always have a shelf space for cars this size versus the bigger ones. So I look forward to start getting more of these. Let's look at the next car. And here's the second magazine we received in pack number one, magazine number two, which is the Dodge Charger. And here's the miniature that goes along with that. And I'll take this out and we'll get a closer look at it here in a little bit. Let's look at the magazine here first, kind of go through it here real quick. So you do talk about the Dodge Charger right away, a little bit of history about it, first thing. And... Uh, some of the original ads that were found for Dodge for the car. Then they get into the technical sheet of the car, the engine specifications, the horsepower, and then the origins of the Dodge brand itself. So you get to learn a little bit about the Dodge brand and uh, how it came about. Back in 1914, very cool. And the National Street Rod Association meet that they have pretty much every year. And it looks like this took place in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, and also in Louisville, Kentucky. Very cool there. And last thing is a USA News from July 1972, the match of the century, the World Chess Championship, right? Bobby Fischer versus Russian Boris Spassky. Let's look at the car. And here's a close-up of the car in its protective case. And it looks like the background represents either Reno, Nevada or Las Vegas from way back in the day. Very nice here, of course, the case is to protect it from uh, dust and any kind of debris. That's very nice there. So let me take this out and I'll be right back. And some information found on the back side of the case. And lower right there, you can see it sold for $5,500. And here's a 1972 Dodge Charger. It's in uh, black with a little bit of silver trim. It has a uh, vinyl top, flat black vinyl top. Very dominating car in the NASCAR circuit in its day. Richard Petty was very famous for driving this type of car. Mopar, very cool there. There's a popular show on TV. And uh, the guy is like an extraordinaire for when it comes to Mopar cars. He knows everything about them. He's located in the, in the Pacific Northwest, 
please, in the comments below, tell me who that is and the name of the show. Let's get a closer look at the wheels and once again very nice graphics on the tire stamped graphics so we can see we have a rear left marker and graphics on the car itself excuse the dust the black really shows it a lot here that's why it's important to keep it inside of its protective cover very nice there tail light kind of see inside there and very nice top very well represented right even with the uh, parts going down the side just like that windows license plate front grille hidden headlights turn signals and the dual exhaust tail lights And you can see this is very nice. It's going to look very nice on the shelf. I'd be interested to see what other Mopar products show up in my mailbox. I'll be right back with a wrap up of this review. is going to go on the display. It looks very nice there. And the next one. And they both look very good there. I hope you enjoyed my review of these 143rd scale cars from Diagostini Collectibles. I think they're fantastic. So if you haven't done so already, head over to Diagostini and subscribe to this today. Use promo code American Cars. The magazines themselves are fantastic too. You get a lot of articles in these and uh, very nice photography. So I think that's fantastic too. I hope you enjoyed my uh, quizzes I was putting in on this so if you want put your answers down below in the comments and uh, I'll look at something to, uh, some kind of a giveaway in the future for that but right now this is just for fun and I hope you enjoyed it so I had a lot of fun doing this and stay tuned for more if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell happy modeling everybody and take care and here's Luke and Leia Alea and Luke. Good pups. Alright, we'll talk to you later.